Hi, I'm Warren from Core Practice. Um, I'll be showing you how to set up your online booking for today. Um, so there's just five major steps that we've got um, in order for you to set up the online booking to suit your requirements. Um, so those five things are one, we're going to set up um, uh, the initial online booking and just enabling it in core practice. Two, we will be whitelisting your website um, so nobody else can use um, your online booking apart from yourself, as well as uh, customizing your color scheme. Three, um, changing the different types of services that you'll be offering to your patients and where do you go to fix those up. Uh, and four, setting up all the individual calendars to suit all the different types of requirements those dentists or those um, oral health therapists have um, in core practice. So, you know, we will be doing a bit of customizations there up until the last step, which is how you embed it onto your website. Um, so I'll get started. Um, so the first point where place that we want to go to is um, setting up the online booking. So first of all, we'll go to the locations tab here uh, underneath uh, the cog. Then you just select your location in here. And then on the very left hand side, you'll have online booking. Okay, so with this online booking in here, just ensure that you've enabled online booking here. Um, this notification email is whenever an appointment's being created online, it can send you like a little notification to your email. Um, and then also a booking web address is say, for example, after they finish their booking, you want to take them to a particular page on your website rather than just staying on our web page. Um, you can get them to go to your home page as an example. So you just put the web address that you'd like into there. Um, and then this is the installation guide that you can choose um, that you can use at the very end. Um, there is a big guide on there for you to check out as well if you ever need to, but you can just easily copy this. Or if you, you know, if you've got a, somebody that's building your website, you can just copy this whole thing for them and then they will be able to embed it onto your website for you. All right, so now that you've completed that and you've enabled it, um, there's just two other options in here that you may want to consider when you um, uh, customize your online booking. So one is a health warning. So a health warning is just basically um, a, a questionnaire that you can put onto your online booking. Um, we built this obviously for um, COVID. Um, and obviously if it's, uh, you know, if there's any sort of like other warnings you want to put on there, you can put whatever you'd like. And say, for example, if the patient were to click yes to that question, then it will automatically come up with a rejection message that you put on here. Okay, um, so you can customize that to your liking. Now, the other option is you also have a notice board. So the notice board is um, something very simple that you can just put on top of your online booking um, just to give your patient a heads up. So some of our clients will use this for things like, um, uh, like giving them a warning to say, hey, um, you know, you may not see some of the appointments that you want to see uh, that you see available in here. If you'd like for us to squeeze you in, please give us a ring and uh, we'll do our best to, to squeeze you in as an example. Um, you can just see I put some test tests on uh, stuff on there as well, um, just so you can see the example there. But always please remember to save your changes um, after you've made any of them. And as an example, just to show you what that notice board looks like is like right here. So it goes straight on top. Okay. Now, the second part of this is um, uh, setting up and whitelisting your online booking. Okay, give me one second. Cool, so we've got your whitelist and your color scheme. So your whitelisting um, will be done here in the cog, and then you go to settings, and you'll see this page in here. You just go to online booking, and then you'll paste your website URL in here. Um, this is where you will predominant. Um, this is where we will obviously um, bookmark or whitelist the correct website, so nobody else can use this. Um, so please use the right um, uh, URL. Um, and then down here, this is where you can do some customizations. So to keep things very plain and simple, um, we we already embedded some technology in here. So when you click a primary color. Um, it'll automatically um, do your secondary and your third colors as a um, kind of like a gradient, uh, but you can always change these to your liking anyway. So you don't have to follow with the um, uh, the formula that we've given you. You can change everything and you can see the accent color is your, um, your little next button on here. So you can change that to whatever color that you like. You can also change font colors as well as the brand color. Um, and the brand color is just this top part of it here. So you can get it to match your your logo if you'd really like to. And there's obviously some more custom styles, but that's um, um, that's more so used for more more advanced users for now. 
All right. Now that we've ticked off the two, so the, fi uh, the third one is the services. So the different types of services that you'll be offering there in core practice. Um, so you can go click on any of the services that you have and you can see if they are available online, if it says yes. Um, obviously if it's no, then it's no. So as an example, let's click on check up, scale and clean. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is, is um, you'll see these questions up here. So yes, you wanna have it for online booking and if you want to display it as button. So most of the time you probably would just want to use yes for this one. Um, and then you choose an online booking type, all right? So you have to be careful with this part because we can only um, allow you to choose one booking type at a time. So let's just say, for example, you have two types of checkup, scale and cleans, and you choose the online booking type checkup, scale and clean here. Um, this, what the system will do is, is it will duplicate it, unfortunately. So you'll have to choose a second option for that second checkup, scale and clean. So you can choose whatever else then here. Obviously, it may not make sense, then that's fine. Um, we do also recommend that you don't have too many services on uh, the online booking because it can um, make the experience a little bit um, more confusing for the patient. And we do suggest that you um, put things on there like symptoms like, you know, toothache or, um, you know, bleeding gums or something like that. Um, you can put that kind of stuff on there or chip tooth or something like that, um, which may make a bit more sense for the patient when they book in. And we find that a lot more of our clients have a much um, higher success rate with it. Now you can also do start dates and end dates as well. Um, this is just so, you know, say for example, you want to test something out or uh, perhaps maybe you'll, you want to do like a special that's only available during a certain time and ends a certain time and you want your patients to book in for that, you can. Um, and then you can also do, um, yeah, just uh, different types of dates if you really like to. Okay, and then we'll just close that for now. And then after you've activated them, that's great. We'll move on to the final step, which is, setting up each of the different calendars. So this may take you a little bit of time, obviously, because you may need to have a chat with your associates or perhaps you need to understand, I guess, what sort of different um, services they wanna offer um, because there are two parts to this. One is we will be um, customizing the, um, uh, the types of appointments as well as the um, appointment uh, amounts of slots that you can put in. Um, we'll customize that first. And then the second part is we'll, we'll customize all the different timing estimates for each of the different dentists or associates, okay? So as an example, let's have a look at myself in here. We'll click on the three dots right next to my calendar and we'll click on calendar settings. Now you come down here to the online booking part. Um, you'll need to turn this on in order for this to work. Um, so turn that on first, and then you'll be you'll see these four different types of options. So this is what gives you a fair bit of flexibility in core practice um, to to allow you to you know have multiple different types of settings for different types of uh, for dentists. So depending on you know what they like, or you know, maybe they've got a particular way of working, um, you can accommodate all of those type of things. So as an example, this open one in here just shows you the amount of days um, that the online booking can be open until. So as an example, they can start off with seven days all the way up to 60 days as an example. So I can put myself for 60 days. Slots is great, um, especially if um, you want to give off the impression that you know maybe you're not too um, full or maybe you only just want to show a subset of, um, of points because you want to be able to um, keep those slots open for other patients or existing patients that are coming back, you can definitely do that. Um, so as an example, if I choose three appointments, what it's going to do is it's going to show me three appointments in the morning and three appointments in the afternoon. Okay, and then after um, that, you after you sorted that part out, um, you can also choose the notice period. Um, so the notice period is very important, especially say for example, if um, you're the type of person that does not like to get the surprise bookings that come in straight away, um, that that's when you can choose something like tomorrow as an example. So that means I could be sitting on the couch at night um, and you know, at 10 o'clock at night, I'm just surfing the web, want to get my dental checkup. I can go in and I can book an appointment straight away for tomorrow. Whereas if you choose for 24 hours, then obviously they have to wait for that 24 hour bracket. So they may not be able to get tomorrow. Obviously they'll have to go for the next day. And then if it's none, that means they could, somebody could literally book in the next couple of seconds as an example. So I've chosen none there for myself. Um, and then cancellation. So this isn't really used at the moment in core practice um, because there isn't actually a way for the patient to, to cancel their bookings. However, the, the feature is coming up for us. Um, if not, it's already um, out by the time you watch this video. Um, so yeah, this um, just keep that in mind for now. There is no cancellation period, but for later on, um, it'll be used. So try to choose something that suits you best for now. 
All right, and then you hit save changes after you made your changes. And now the final bit about making those adjustments is that there's fi one final part in the template creation section, uh, editing of the template. So if you go into your agenda, you know how you can choose all these different types of presets in here. Um, there's also parts for no online booking. So as an example, sometimes, um, you know, um, you don't want to start off the day with an online booking. You want them to be spread out across the other um, parts of the day. Um, you can customize all of that if you'd like. Um, yeah, just choose what you want in here. So say, for example, every um, every day between 8 and 9 a.m., um, I don't want that slot to be available. Um, you can use that as well to, um, to kind of push them into the different slots that you would like. OK, I'll go back for now. And the final piece of the puzzle is setting up all the different time estimates or timing estimates, sorry, for all of your different dentists uh, or health therapists and associates. Um, so as an example, I'll quickly, I'll just click on done again. I'll click the three dots right next to my calendar that I want to adjust and then click on manage services. You will have to turn this on. Um, otherwise, what's going to happen is everybody gets the same timing estimate. All right, so if you turn it on for everybody, um, and then that's when you can say, for example, oh, you know, maybe I don't want to do any Botox. I can turn that off for this particular um, associate. And then I can also change the timing estimates for each of these different um, services that you guys are offering um, to make it a bit more personalized to them. So this will count for internal as well as online. So a great opportunity for you to go in there and um, change that if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, that'll... Um, help you to organize everybody's times a little bit better. Okay, I'll click on done for now. And that's really it. So, I mean, the final piece um, or the final step uh, to completing all of this is just embedding it onto your website. Um, now, everybody is going to be using a different type of um, content management system. Um, so I can't, unfortunately, give you too much um, expertise in this area. However, if you're dealing with a... Um, a website developer or something like that, um, you can just go into your cog, go to locations, go to that location that you're in, and then go to online booking. And at the very bottom over here in the installation, this is the installation guide. You can always click on the learn more button to, which shows you step-by-step step on how to upload this onto your website. Um, but otherwise, if you just provide this information back to your um, um, uh, website developer, then you'll be all good to go. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions, please drop it um, into our support channels. Um, you can either give us a call, start our live chat, or um, send us a mail as well to support at callpractice.com.au. Thanks.